So, what's up, guys? So, yet another incident has happened on a college campus. This one, however, was not a school shooting, rather a sexual assault. A SUNY Cortland student, the um, State University of New York Cortland student, was allegedly raped Saturday morning in a residence hall on campus, according to university police. Police say the victim knew the alleged attacker and do not have any other information as of this current time. This is the second incident of sexual assault to happen in a residence hall on campus this month. The first reported incident was on November 5th, excuse me, when a student reported uh, being forcibly touched in the early morning hours of Halloween. The victim in this case also knew the alleged attacker. Campus police are still investigating both incidents. Anyone who has been, uh, ever been sexually assaulted on campus or has information on the event should call the University Police Department at 607-753-2112. Now, this again brings up a, a thing that was very big um, last year. And that, and I think overall, um, really drives home the point of why we need more protection for students, you know, better safety measures for students uh, on campus, both male and female, because uh, male, males and females are, um, are targeted, whether it be, you know, a actual violent, um, like a violent school shooting or whether it be sexual violence. Either one, uh, gun violence or sexual violence. In this case, however, there definitely needs to be something to. Um, there, there definitely needs to be some sort of measures that do need to come into play here, uh, to in order to better protect um, SUNY students. And it's one of those things where the sexual violence that continues to go go on against women, especially on campus, is something that really does need to be seriously addressed. Because, frankly, a lot of women, especially, uh, a lot of women are not taken uh, seriously. A lot of these college um, attacks don't seem to, either don't get reported or they end up not being taken seriously, which sometimes causes some people not to report them and even in the case of males who have been um, attacked and stuff like that they're often too afraid to go forward themselves and it really is one of those things that sexual violence definitely needs to be something that we address not only in this country in the United States but in other countries because it doesn't just happen here it, it happens everywhere and we really do need some measures that will that will definitely help to make students feel safe on campus especially if they live on campus I have friends of mine that go to university and I'll and Personally, I want to make sure that I, I would like to know that they're safe on campus and that they have protocols and things and that if God forbid something happens to them that they actually are, that, you know, that they're, you know, someone is there to comfort them, counsel them and, you know, get the son of a bitch that did it. So that's all I'm really saying and it's really... As a man, this is a hard thing for me to talk about, especially considering that this is a very touchy subject. And, but, I feel like if I if I don't say it, especially as a man, if I don't say this, then other then, then other men are not really going. You know, then who's going to be the man that is going to step up and talk to this? Because we've heard a lot of the voices of female. Um, opinions, but we've never really seen a whole lot of male opinions on this issue. When it respect, whether it regards uh, sexual violence against women, or sexual violence against men, or violence against or gun violence, or whatever um, the case may be, but definitely the sexual violence.
Now, there are measures that have been taken that have, you know, that definitely have helped to stop or prevent certain, you know, certain different incidents from happening. But so much more could be done. So much more needs to be done. So, and it, the incidents that have been happening at SUNY Cortland really need to be addressed. And some, really, something needs to be put into place to better protect students on campus. And I sincerely hope that the victims find justice in what has been in, in what has been done to them and that they are able to get some peace of mind and that I do hope that the people that have perpetrated these acts are caught and punished. That's really all I have to say on this. I'm NorCal Nick, leader of the revolutionist movement, and this has been NorCal Corner. Later.